What's up, Swanee High? My name is Jeremiah Ross, along here with Petra Pfeiffer, and we're this week's host for SHS Total Access. Now let's jump to the Bulldog Minute with Shanika and Trey. Hi, Swanee High. This is Trey. And I'm Shanika, and we're here today with the Bulldog Minute. Last week we had a pet rally right before the game, and I really seen it fire us up. So let's go to the clip of that. Well, it seemed like that pep rally really did fire you guys up since you guys beat Fort White 27-13. And let's show y'all the clip of that win. The Bulldogs played the Fort White Indians Friday. Greg Swenson started off the game with a one-yard rushing touchdown. Quentin Hines had an interception, and J.R. Bass capped off the night with a 14-yard touchdown as well. The Dogs ended the night defeating Fort White 27-13. Make sure you check us out next week. We're going to be playing the Santa Fe Raiders. Players lost. We all know that they're going to come back next week with a big win. Stay tuned next week for some upcoming events. The volleyball team plays Santa Fe. We have a swim meet against Goppin. We have a big football game against. We're at Perry. And thank you, and that has been your Bulldog Minute. Jeremiah, where are you going? I'm going to get ready for wrestling season. Well, if you want to know more about wrestling, let's go to Coach Laxton and David for Profile of the Week. Well, I'm here with Coach Laxton today to talk about wrestling. So, Coach, how does it feel to be a head coach of such a great or organization as Swan High School? Well, obviously it feels good, but it feels better just to be a part of Swan High School. So, uh, as a head coach, what is your total re total record? Well, I believe it's like 2, 16, uh, 27, and 2. That's pretty amazing stats. How long have you been coaching? Uh, that was be about my 22nd year, 23rd year here, but it's my 42nd year to coach. Out of all your years, what's your proudest moment as a high school <laughs> coach? Well, uh, I've had a lot of state champions, and I've carried a few off the mat after they won it, but probably, you know, one of my proudest moments would be uh, last year when Travis won the state championships, and my oldest son, you know, he ran and jumped in my oldest son's arms, and that was, that was a pretty proud moment right there. Watch your two boys on the mat. How many uh, state champions have come from Swanee High School over the years? I believe we've had 21 state champions, 20 All-Americans. Have Travis, state champion, uh, returning. And then we have John Boatwright. We have uh, uh, Tony Fudge. Then you have uh, you know a couple little freshmen coming up, Logan Fletcher, little Jacob Wainwright, and some other kids that will be filling in some spots there. But uh, we're, we've got a good tournament team. It's just winning those dual meets. That's what's going to be hard to do. Sounds like a great year ahead of us, Coach. Well, we ought to make the top ten. We're still pulling for the top ten. We'd like to be in the top five. And if all goes well, we have a shot at winning it. You've got to have seven good wrestlers, and we do have seven good wrestlers. But you've got to put about three of those guys in the finals, and then you've got to place the rest of them. So we're concentrating on the magnificent seven, you might say. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have here. See you back at the studio. Thank you, Coach Laxton. <laughs> Man, Jeremiah, I wonder what teachers' views are on getting more involved in school. I don't know. Let's go to the word at Swanee High with TJ Vickers and Mr. Scarborough. What's up, Swanee High? TJ Vickers here with Word at Swanee High. Last week, if you turned to our podcast, you saw that we did an interview with Mr. Scarborough, our superintendent of schools. We didn't really get a chance to finish it off, so we're here to do it right this time. Let's get back to the interview. It's a step that we need to take. Is there any other steps that you and your staff are taking? to help us out. Well, I was glad to see that uh, Jake Hayes was telling me that he attended our meeting with the Chamber of Commerce Forum the other evening where we were really looking at trying to decrease the dropout rate at the high school. We had the stigma last year of being 
our county had the highest dropout rate in the state of Florida, which is something that is very discouraging to the school board and to your superintendent. So we need to really look at ways and get creative how we can change that attitude here within our school system. We really want to concentrate on the ninth grade this year to see what we can do to let them know we really care and that we're more involved in making them successful. TJ, I would hope that during the next year that we could get to rung six on the ladder where the adults initiation process initiates projects but there's a shared decision making with the students. Projects, classes, or activities are initiated by adults but the decision making is shared with the students involved. We, during this discussion today we've heard, we talked a lot about communications. And communications is a two-way street so there has to be more of a communications process with the students there at the high school if we're going to be successful in changing the culture there at the school. There you have it. That's Mr. Scarborough, superintendent. Back to you in the studio. Oh, so you're thinking about college? I'm thinking a little bit about college, but I wish I could learn more about it. Oh, you want to know more about it? Well, let's go in the know with Jake. Hey there, Swanee High School. This is Jake Hayes, and we have a special in the know segment for you. We'll be covering the College Day, where colleges come once a year to talk to you, the seniors and juniors, and try to promote their college to you. We'll be getting an insider's look of the college day, so follow us along. Hey there, Swanner High School. This is Jake Hayes. I'm inside the college day. I met up with a buddy of mine, Dustin Puller, and uh, he was interviewing some of the colleges, so I got some questions for him. So, Dustin, um, what's some colleges uh, stood out to you? Uh, Valdosta State and the Art Institute really stood out to me. Okay. Um, will you be visiting these colleges anytime soon? Most likely I'll go take a trip up there and see the campuses in the next few months. Okay. Do you think you'll apply for these colleges or maybe even um, attend these colleges? It's a strong possibility because uh, they have the programs I'm looking to get into. Okay, and what's some of the uh, programs you're looking to get into? Uh, I'm really looking to get into film editing or uh, broadcast communication. Okay. Alright, Swanee High School, that was Dustin Puller, Inside the College Day. We'll uh, get some more stuff for you. Hey there, Swanee High School. This is Jay Kays. I'm here at the Barry booth um, with Miss Laura Miller. She's a representative for Florida for Barry College, and I've got some questions for her. Um, Miss Miller, what are some um, things that you would, what are some tips you'd like to give to students? The first thing is coming and having an open mind. To me, I think if you have an open mind and you gather the information and then be sure to compare apples to apples because a lot of students think that they cannot afford to go out of state and that's a myth because state out of state schools have more money to give and private schools have more money to give than public schools. So you need to examine all the details of all the expenses. One of the things I would encourage everyone to do is to apply early and use this common application program. We're a member of the common application and you go to one website, you fill out one application and you write one essay and then you can choose which college you would like to receive those things and it really simplifies the whole process and saves you a lot of time. Thank you, Ms. Miller. That was Ms. Miller from Barry College. Thank you. Alright, Swanee High School, that was the end of the segment on College Day. I hope you learned how College Day can be effective to you and help you get into college. Um, and that was the end of the segment. We'll check you later. That's all we have for you this week on SHS Total Access. But, tune in next week to see what we got for you. Alright, have a nice day.